Hello, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to give my honest opinion on the Weera Joker 6003 Spanner set. Now, again, like the original Jokers, it comes in a nice case. You have the Weera logo and you have this logo showing what type of Joker Spanner is within the case. You have the holding loop so you can hang these up on, say, a tool board. Now, as we open them up, you can see the netting holding the spanners in and this little cover here so when the, the case is all wrapped up they're not going to fall out they're held nicely they're not going to get lost you won't lose them anyway now as the case folds up you may notice it's a bit flatter compared to the original joker case the original joker case rolls um it's very rounded this is a bit flatter the material feels a bit stiffer in this case However, it's still a very nice case. Um, you know, a good way to store the spanners. Now, if we lift the cover up, you can see this is the metric set. We have sizes eight all the way through to 19. And you have the usual Weera color coding for the sizes. Again, if you use them, you get used to the colors. It makes it so much quicker to just grab the spanner. If you have their sockets, the colors match the same sizes, so you're 10 socket will be yellow. Now, we'll look at the 19. As you can see, you have the open end, 12 point. This allows for a 15 degree rotation. That's what makes these special. You can rotate the bolt and you only need a 15 degree rotation before you can remove it, the spanner, and put it back on, get another 15 degrees. I believe a regular kind of six point spanner is about 30 degree turn. So this halves it. This end, you have your regular closed end. Again, slightly angled, work on a flat surface, keeps your hands off the floor. Other than that, these are a fairly sort of simple spanner design. They have the nice wearer handle. Again, I find these very comfortable in the hand. I really like them. They are very comfortable to use. Now, I've had this set about six months. Would I recommend buying it? Now, price, I paid 115 for these delivered. It It's a bit expensive, like these spanners, they are, they are on the high end of value of what they're worth, like, any more than 130, then not I would not recommend these at all. There are similar spanners, you know, they'll do the same job for a lot less money. Ten tools, backo, even if you're on a budget, apprentices, anything like that, you you want a good but cheap spanner set, health is professional. I have I started my apprenticeship with them, I've had them 13 years. They have been perfectly fine. These are on the high end. They do offer, like I say, the 15 degree rotation and they do offer quality. They are a quality tool. But if you can justify the price, like I say, at the moment, these are retailing most places 120 to 140. If, I, if you're interested in them, I wouldn't pay more than 120, 130 for them. Have a look around again. If you want them, if you can afford them, they are a very nice tool. They are very good quality. It is just the pricing of these is a little high, in my opinion. For someone that buys their own tools, it's my money. It is a lot of money. I got these because I had the original Joker, which I'll bring in here. We can do a comparison. What I'll do is I'll remove these. So, this is the original Joker. This is the newer 6003 set. As you can see, the 6003 set is slightly shorter. Here you have the 12 point open end. On the Joker, you have the 12 point this side. On this side, you have this plate. That's the holding function. And again, on this side, you have the ratcheting end. Whereas on the 6003 set, it's just the normal, regular closed end. Now, this set I paid 155 for. 
At the moment, they retail about anywhere between 160 and 200. I would recommend looking for 160 to 170. You can get them at that price. Don't pay any more than 170. The reason I find these more of a want than a need, like I bought these because I wanted them, it's only about a 30 to 40 pound difference between the two sets. This is 11 piece sets in metric. Both come in the cases. For 30 to 40 pounds, I feel like this is a much better spanner. But if you just want a basic spanner, I feel there's cheaper offerings, like I say, from Tang, Baco, Halfords, depending on your budget. I'm not saying this is not worth the money. It's worth the money, but it is just, it is on the high end. You know, it's my opinion. I, I bought these. I own them. I don't get sent anything. This is just, you need to consider value. It's all good. Just, oh yeah, throw money at this, that. Not everyone can do that. Some people, when they buy new tools, they really need to get the most for their money. That's why these are a, a bit of a on the expensive side but if you can justify it and you have the money spare go for it if you are on a budget I would probably recommend looking elsewhere not to not to put these down but it's just my opinion I feel the pricing is quite high and I would not have bought these as an apprentice I, these would have been well out of my price range I know that um, so yeah I'll say that's my honest opinion. If you think differently, let me know. I just think very good tool, very high quality. Just the pricing for what you're getting is a little on the high side. If you had to have one spanner set, I would go for the original Jokers over these. And if you are on a budget, there are other options cheaper, which are just as good quality. So that's my opinion. I hope uh, it's helpful to anyone out there. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.